Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we will talk everything about DevOps and cloud. And for this, I have invited Praveen. So hi Praveen, thank you for accepting our in, uh, invitation. So could you give me your quick introduction uh, so that our viewer will get to know about you? Uh, sure, I'm Amrit Anjali. Thank you for inviting me, right? And I'm uh, very happy that I have uh, come uh, to, to help some of the people who are uh, uh, following you, right? Uh, so first of all, thank you for uh, inviting me. Uh, so myself, Praveen Singhampalli, uh, I am a DevOps engineer at Walmart, uh, right? And uh, I have close to 5.5 uh, plus years of experience. And uh, uh, after joining Walmart, uh, right, uh, I have uh, got a confidence like I can help also a few of the people who are looking out uh, for a career change, right? And uh, recently, I have started a group uh, which is around uh, 500 plus people right now. And most of the things I I am taking is like I give weekend sessions on the DevOps, right? And uh, usually, I poll uh, I give a poll in the group, and the people uh, decide which topic should be happening for the particular weekend, right? Uh, so that's how the thing started, and that's where I also connected with Amrit Anjali, and I came to know like. Uh, she's also doing a great job, right? So that's where we connected. And and I will help you uh, in this video session with all the topics uh, related to DevOps and all those things. So uh, in a brief, this is about myself, Ambitan. So uh, one question I want to ask from you, like lots of our viewers want to start their career in, road, uh, in dev, uh, DevOps and cloud. So could you please give a brief uh, roadmap about how one can start their career in DevOps cloud uh, kind of domain? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so here uh, the important factor for this question comes in the way like whether the uh, whether career start is during the graduate or after the graduation, right? So if a candidate is uh, undergrad or he is pursuing his fourth year or third year, right? I would suggest the best roadmap for him or her will be uh, following a particular trainer or a tutorial from a YouTube video where a series kind of things are there, right? DevOps is an ocean of tools. And when I say an ocean of tools, the particular candidate should select a particular tool, which is told by someone, right? Until we get the guidance from someone, we will go here and there. And, and at the end, we will not know what to follow. Right. So I would suggest you follow a mentor. You have a mentor, someone, uh, someone who can guide you closely with. Right. So when I was in fourth year, I don't know anything. Right. And uh, and uh, usually uh, by by it's a luck, right, where I landed into DevOps. But for those who are who are really uh, passionate to learn about DevOps automation or cloud, I would definitely recommend to follow up mentor or a path uh, where uh, you will get more to know. Right. And once you see some series of things. You start doing the hands-on on that, right? I would suggest 50% of uh, 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 the theory you learn from someone, right? 20% you do the hands-on on your laptop by downloading the software, by, by seeing how the software is working, right? And the remaining 30%, keep it for your preparation, right? Right? Uh, let's say one month you have given yourself the time frame, right? How many questions you can cover, like interview-related questions, right? You can see that. And meanwhile, be active on the LinkedIn. That's where I would suggest to be, right? And the people who are graduated and they are looking for a job, I would recommend you to get the intern opportunity, right? And again, the best platform is LinkedIn for you, right? Where people are just uh, posting their uh, opportunities and, uh, and they are posting what are the things that are available for the people uh, to go and get as intern, right? Even in my group, I post uh, most of the DevOps related things, either interns, either on the uh, uh, graduate sides. So both the things I have with me, right? And uh, you can definitely uh, come to know in the nearby future uh, if you are really passionate about DevOps, right? And uh, we can also connect. So I think our lots of you are preparing for DevOps interview. So. Can you uh, explain that how DevOps interview looks like and how they can prepare for DevOps interview? Yes. Uh, so again, this is one of the important questions where uh, people usually uh, get confusion, right? I would uh, I would uh, like to inform the people or, or the friends who are looking at this video, right? First of all, we should divide the, uh, the learning, like how we are going to learn the different types of tools and technologies, right? And now the next step is this one, the, what the question Amritanjali has asked, right? How uh, the interview process will be. The interview process usually depends on the uh, organization, right? And uh, let's say if you, are, uh, if you have two years of experience, the interview process will be slightly different. For five years, it will be slightly different. And for seven years, again, for 10 years, it will be slightly different. But the main criteria, right? 
uh, it should be on the on the individual flavor right so uh, when i say the flavor it should be like the mixture of all the tools what you have learned you should showcase in the interview right with the confidence with the with the way you the way you talk in the interview that itself will tell like whether you are going to crack the interview or not i hope you are understanding me right when i say confidence you should give the interviewer the confidence uh, in the, in such a way like yes the interviewer should think like yes if he selects the candidate the candidate can do any task and moreover i believe right i personally believe uh, rather than going uh, through lot of devops things you should develop your interpersonal skills also right that's where uh, some part of the interview gets uh, added to that also right like you participate in the extracurricular activities you have some certifications right and uh, and when when someone sees your resume right there these things will get highlighted for example let's take example of amazon which i cleared right amazon will mainly look at leadership principles right it, they will not look like whether you are a devops engineer or you are a sde or a stet right they will look at the leadership qualities from your resume right they will start finding like whether this candidate is capable of of given a task whether he is capable of doing that task or not right that's where the things get started and i would recommend prepare your resume in such a way where at first sight right the interview uh, or the or the hr gets uh, like by the resume right you bold the letters devops is all about tools right when i say uh, different tools are there you should highlight in the resume it's, it should not be like uh, i should go and search here and there and find it out okay which tool this candidate is having i would recommend you rather go and highlight the tools in the bold letters right that gives the uh, the enhancement to your resume right and uh, and when i say now coming to the main part like how you go and attend the interview it will play an important role right so attending the interview and again getting uh, uh, the interview process it all depends on organization basically but as i have told you in my previous statements it mainly depends on how confidently you are able to talk to the people or the interview person right and how you are making assurance to him like uh, hey take me in and i will be the best product for your team right that's what the confidence you should give him right so in order to get the confidence again from the statement one if you see have a mentor for yourself right have someone in the linkedin uh, where people are guiding you back rather than you go and join some xyz academy and uh, you just uh, don't know like what a act the uh, organization things like right? teaching so many things outside but what an organization level of things you should have the knowledge is most important so i would suggest whoever is seeing this video take a notebook and write down the points whatever my, myself and amritanjali are talking about it will be more helpful to you guys right so i think you have covered all those point and i also learned lot from you like uh, i don't have any devops experience like i only work on development part and today i got to know lots about devops so that's all about this video thank you praveen for accepting our invitation hopefully you all learned a lot from this video and please subscribe this channel and if you watch this video till the end then of course you like that video so please like it also so that's all thank you so much